Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, uh, Food Fantastic. Uh, today we're going to be preparing an Asian style short rib, a pork short rib. You can, if you want to, if you don't like pork, you can swap it out with some uh, beef short ribs, but then don't use so much ginger and a lot more garlic. Pork what we're going to be using today, as you can see it's a very inexpensive piece of pork. We're going to cut about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six slices here. Uh, so to be everybody will have their own individual piece of meat. It's a pretty meaty piece of pork, as you can see. There's enough fat on it. I could have used a lot more fat, just a little bit anyway, as my wife likes fat on it meat. And uh, um, so we're going to clean it up a little bit, cut it, and we're going to season it. Background: We have our season. We have we sliced up some uh, ginger, some fresh ginger. Uh, I minced up some garlic. Here's some more minced uh, uh, ginger that I'm going to use in our stir fry later on. We julienne some onions. It's about a half of an onion, a nice size onion. We took about four scallions and we sliced those up. I think we uh, grilled some uh, a whole scallion. Uh, this as a garnish when we our finished product. I have some uh, pink Himalayan salt for seasoning. Also have some black pepper. We have about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of uh, Hussein sauce. Uh, we have two cups of white rice that we're going to use for our steamed rice. I boiled off some uh, some uh, bias cut carrots. I used three of them. Uh, if anybody, these are some uh, uh, broccoli spears. What I did was boil them in some hot water till the green came out, and then I shot them in some ice water with ice so it'll retain the color. And uh, I used about uh, what a half a pound of this. And in the background, we got our two cups of red wine. So what we're going to do is separate these uh, individual rivers. We'll get a sharp knife because I'm trying to go through the bone. I have a meat cleaver. So that'll be the next thing on my wish list. <laughs> Sometimes you can just follow the, the course of where the bones are. Then other times you really just need a meat cleaver. <laughs> You know, sometimes what I do is just get a hammer <laughs> and hammer, which might not be a bad idea right now. Save on the old fingers anyway. Okay, once we've cut through these, what we're going to do is just give them a little quick rinse so it won't be any bone, you know, any bone in there. Okay, so we've, we, uh, we cleaned the, our meat up uh, first before and after we did the cutting. Just to make sure there wasn't any little bone fragments. And so now we're going to, I like using this Himalayan, this Himalayan uh, pink salt. Uh, it's healthy and it's, you know, it's just good. Just a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. It's my pepper here, some sprinkle there. Kind of put that in a little bit. Turn it over. Get both sides really nice. A little salt. A little pepper. There we go. That's about it. Now we're going to have to uh, uh, heat up our, our skillet and uh, uh, get it real hot where it's uh, smoking a little bit so we can sear this up and then add the rest of our ingredients so we can wrap that up and, and uh, start on our short ribs. We're going to turn on our stove to high so we can heat this uh, skillet up really fast. Same time we're going to turn on our oven get it started. I'm going to go at like a three, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So while our stove is heating up and our skillet is heating up uh, we're also going to make the steam rice now the steamed rice, uh, there's three methods of making steamed rice. Uh, there's, you can either do the oven on top of the stove, just some water, salt, bring it up to the boil, reduce uh, the flame, and then put a top on it. Same principle if you was putting it in the oven. Uh, the another method of uh, rice is, making rice is uh, called rice pilaf, where you're going to add a chicken stock or beef stock or some other flavored uh, uh, thing, but it's kind of almost cook it the same way. Um, then the last is risotto which is, uh, you, you're usually cooking with arborio rice and it's usually uh, made with Italian dishes. It's a creamy rice. Or just a little bit of oil. We just want to cover the surface. We don't need a lot of oil. 
I want to hear that nice sizzle there. That's what they were trying to share that. It was sharing perfectly. Now, I would also suggest if you're doing this to wear a chef jacket or long sleeve because trust me, this is the splatter from this oil is burning me up. <laughs> you want to get a nice color on this. The pork, you know, it's, it's referred to as other white meat. I like stuff that looks like it's cooked or like it's grilled. So we're going to get some color on this before we turn it over. On, on one side, as you can see, that's a real nice color on that piece of meat there. I like to get some color on all sides of that's exposed to really kind of seal it up. You see that's pink there, so I'm going to turn it on this side to kind of seal it up as well. Let's start adding our vegetables and our pink. We're going to add some onions. Add a little bit of our scallions. We're going to just use half of it. We're going to save the other half for the uh, the other thing. A little bit of garlic. Gotta get that mixed up in there. Oh, I wish you could smell this, man. It really smells nice. Always like garlic with onions, especially if you're making Italian dishes or something like that. It's, it's great. Okay, but because this is Asian, we're gonna add our Hussein, Hussein sauce. Like I said, two tablespoons. Add that right in there like that. Soy sauce. A red wine. Now we don't want to cover the whole thing. The two cups is just enough for what we're doing here. So this is good. I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. Now we're going to add our fresh sliced ginger. We're going to kind of like scatter that. Try to put a piece on every piece of meat there as it cooks. We're going to cover this. You can use aluminum foil if you don't have a top big enough for your skillet. We're going to transfer this in the oven. We're going to try to bake it for about an hour and a half, two hours. After an hour and a half, we're going to check it for tenderness. If it's not tender by then, Normally another half hour to do it. All right? We're in the oven for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. After an hour and a half, we're gonna check it for, see how tender it is, okay? Also, uh, while we got it in the oven, or we have it in the oven, we're gonna make our steamed rice, and towards the end of it, we'll do our stir-fried vegetable, which is only broccoli and uh, uh, carrots, and a little garlic in there too. So until then, we'll be right back. We're back, it's been about an hour and a half, we checked that meat, it was, it was very tender. And now, right now I'm gonna make a, 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 a sauce for the pork. So I'm gonna turn on the stove to about medium high. And as soon as we finish that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the meat back in there, let it simmer a little bit more to kinda of help to caramelize and, and uh, get us some nice color on the, on the meat. Also made a little bit of a slurry. Uh, this is cornstarch with water. This is just in case I need to thicken it up a little bit more, so I'm going to place this over here. And as I said before, we have steamed rice. I already made the steamed rice. It's, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> so uh, when we get ready to put it up, you'll see the whole thing come together. I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup. Uh, just to, instead of sugar, I'm going to add ketchup. Let's give it a little bit of flavor there. I want to mention to you, to you this is the same uh, sauce or juices that we cooked the meat in. I'm just kind of tightening up the, the, the taste of it. Now as we turn the meat back to the, uh, the pan, you can see it's got some nice color on it. And so it's right back in there. I get it coated. 
So we're just gonna flip them a little bit. We turn this heat down just a little bit because we don't want to burn anything. But we do want it to kind of be bubbling. Because the ideal is as it cooks a little bit and you turn them over, they continue to get turn, uh, tender and they soak up that good flavor. The pot nice and hot. Now, I may have to turn on the fan, which I already know I will have to. So it's going to get a little bit noisy, but you'll be able to see what's going on. So I'm going to add this oil here. This is a blend of uh, a basil and garlic. It's called a pesto oil. Seasoning for my uh, stir fry. If I can get the top off, okay. Just a little bit of oil in the bottom. Heat it up all. Now we're going to add the uh, minced ginger. We're going to add our garlic. We're going to add our Julian onions. A um, little bit of our uh, chopped or uh, sliced scallion. We're going to use this a little tiny bit to uh, kind of garnish our food once we set the plate up. We want to let them get a little bit soft. Release their aromatics, their flavors, and, and the oh man, if you can just smell this. Wow, this really smells good. Our uh, carrots and our broccoli. The soy sauce. Give it a little soft flavor there. I'm gonna cook through this a little bit just to heat it through. Because uh, these were cold vegetables. Remember, I boiled them to get the color and then I shot them in ice water. And so I had them in the refrigerator until the meat got done, which is done now. Okay, so I'm just letting this warm through a little bit. And after we got this warm through, we'll plate everything up. You can see some real nice flavors going on. There. Okay, so we're finished. Now we're gonna plate this, uh, our food up. And I'm gonna try to use a real nice focal point here as we do this. There's carrots here going on. And some more broccoli. Right there. See that pork is really flaking off there. Right there. A little bit of the sauce. Put it over there like that. Picking up a little bit of the sauce. And we kind of like drizzle it over our short ribs there. Remove our mold of our rice. For our wilted scallion. And just kind of put that like that. Put that around here like that. You know, parsley will work too, some chopped parsley. And there we have it. Ready to eat. We got our uh, Asian style pork spare ribs, steamed rice, uh, some grilled scallion, uh, steamed or stir fried broccoli with uh, some carrot, and we just dressed up a little bit. And there we have it. It's all ready to eat. Here's our finished product. A little simple. You know, like I said, you can swap out the pork spare ribs with some beef uh, spare ribs, but just use a little bit more garlic, a little less ginger, and a lot of red wine. <laughs> so this is it. We're about to eat now. So we just thank you for dropping in and uh, watching us prepare this meal. Remember, food fantastic. And we'll see you next time with another uh, demonstration of a great meal. Thank you. Bye-bye.